So, in yeah. Ireland, Ireland. In Ireland's highest court right now, they have recently ruled that Subway sandwiches are way too sugary to legally be defined by, as bread. What? Joe just pictured everyone in the court with wigs. <laughs> no, I pictured a bunch of leprechauns. I knew it! Ireland. I pictured kilts. Yeah. I pictured all kilts. Is that Irish or is that Scottish? That's Scottish. Scottish. Fuck! Yeah. So what's Irish? No, it's kind of close McGregor, to McGregor, man. McGregor, man. <laughs> it's the fucking, it's the, it's the button, it's the belt buckle button shoes. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. You don't know what he's talking okay, about. Okay, yeah. The leprechaun, you know? They're the fighting Irish. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So all right. this went all the way up to the highest court? Yes, because this has been a five-year battle. Uh, oh, no, no, no. Uh, Fox longer. Subway. No, yeah. Fook. Longer. Fook. Since 2006. You know, you know what's, you know what's wild? It's because out there, I don't know if it's Europe or England or all of them, they Just say all of them. All of them. All of <laughs> those fools over there. They have a limit to how much sugar they can put into the food. That is really? awesome. Yeah. yeah, that's why this shit tastes so good, man. And it's like. Balance. So they're saying the bread is too sugary? Yes. Okay, oh. so this all started back in 2006. You when, tell them fuckers. Yeah, when uh, one of the franchisees, they were claiming that it was owed a tax refund because of the fact that there is this, uh, this VAT Act of 1972 that it pretty much says like you will get a 0% tax on foods that are considered um, Healthy. Oh my gosh, I'm forgetting. Bread. Staple. It's a staple. staple. Like a staple food. Oh. Yeah. Like a potatoes. Potato rice. So, <laughs> so staple food items get no tax, right? No but tax. because Subway had been getting taxed all this time, they're like, what the fuck? Bread is a staple food. We're making sandwiches. Why are we getting taxed? So then. Don't tax me on my sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> they're magically tax delicious. Like a charms. <laughs> My healthy charms. <laughs> my healthy charms. Oh, me lucky charms not so lucky anymore. <laughs> yeah, so they actually found that the dough baked for Subway sandwiches has a sugar content of roughly 10% of Holy the weight shit. of the flour content. Holy crap. And it's, in order to be considered a bread product, it must not be more than 2% in total wow. of the weight of flour. Really? 10% wow. sugar? That's how Fuck ton. Ten percent the weight of its flour content. Wow. So then, wow. so it's so bread is two percent. So this shit is like, what is it? It's like cake now or what? I guess so. Yeah. So <laughs> cake yeah. buns, man. Yeah. yeah. So that's the reason why they have that. Don't call me sandwiches cake. <laughs> so the reason why they have they drew that that line there is because they like the fact of it being a staple food. It's supposed to be like healthy for the whole. For everyone, right? right? But then if it's like don't. What about birthdays? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> what about my birthday? <laughs> I was making sandwiches for people's birthdays every day. They change it all to like cake. Yeah. May I have the Italian cake, the cold cut trio cake? Oh, you putting god. candles in the sandwiches? I know. <laughs> Did you know that a six-inch white bread roll has five grams of sugar, which is similar to that of an Oreo cookie? What? Oh, just Holy a shit. Oreo cookie? Crazy. Oreo cookies are wild. Yep. Damn. That's crazy. All of our food has uh, sugar because wow. they figured out what is the best. So it's it's called the bliss point. So scientists figured out how much sugar. Um, makes us feel really good, but also addicted to that product. So almost everything that we have has actual sugar. Cause I cut out sugar for like a month. And then when I started looking into labels, I was like, fuck, how the fuck does chips have sugar? Like this has sugar, it's all salty. Like, and bread, like when you eat bread, you're like, how the fuck does this have sugar? And then I found out all of this stuff when I went down the rabbit hole of um, sugars and everything we eat, man. Did you know toothpaste had sugar? The really? One does? I mean, or back in the day. All of them. I mean, it's sweet. At least in the yeah. U.S. Because if you go to Asia, it's saltier. That's true. It yeah. is saltier. Yeah. That is true. No, but they they so they looked into all six of the company's bread options. So even the one that you might think is really healthy, like the nine grain multi seed or the honey oat. Oh, honey were, probably has the most. They were all deemed Sugar. too sugary. Damn. They just change their recipe and not, and then they'll get the. 
But you're not gonna dick people the way yeah. the other ones do. You're not gonna dick them anymore. They can't dick me now. That shit tastes like shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, Subway's like good. It. I don't like. You it. know what you can do at Subway too that people don't know for a healthier option. You can tell them to um, hollow out the bread. Yeah. What? What do you carve yeah. it out? No, they yeah. just use their hand and they just like roll. It <laughs> yeah, like, what? Very much. Like they. So. Yeah, me too. So it's like they and then just. Then you get more stuff in there. So, yeah. So is that really? No, they don't actually give you more stuff. I mean, it's just, it just feels like more though. It feels like you know you're eating a healthier sandwich because it's not all bread. Oh wow! You know, know what they really need to solve is how the fuck do you make fresh, fresh baked stale bread? It's fresh, but it comes out stale. Like it's disgusting. You don't like Subway. Not their bread. <laughs> I like the bologna. Ever since I started eating Jersey Mike's, I can't go back to Subway. Mm, Jersey just... Mike's. Do you think they have even more sugar in their bread? Probably, I don't know. Oh, Jersey Mike's. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's Joyzy, man. Joyzy Mike's. Joyzy Mike's. Oh, is it Jersey Mike's? <laughs> <bro. laughs> oh, you said Hawaiian? Yeah, oh, bro brother. Oh, oh, Jersey Mike's, brother. <laughs> Get some sandwiches, brother. Join doodle -doo paper. That's what I'm forgetting, Sarah Marshall. Do they even have <laughs> sandwiches in Hawaii? Like a Hawaiian Sandy sandwich? Bites. Like a musubi? No, that's not a sandwich, though. Don't they have the Hawaiian buns? Yeah, Hawaiian the Hawaiian. Oh, yeah. That's super good. That, that, that tastes like it has a lot of sugar. Nah, that shit has some sugar, yeah. Fuck yeah. That's a real cake. It's so good. Yeah. That, that is, is good. I could just eat the bread by itself. Yeah. This Hawaiian bread is so fire, bro. Mm -hmm. Literally, that's just all you need is mm. Portuguese baked Some butter. Buns. Just some butter. Toast it. It's so good. Oh, Sesame yeah. seeds on top. I like to make sloppy joes with that. Dude. Sloppy joe sliders. I use it with everything. What? Hawaiian bread? Hawaiian bread, yeah. Hamburger. Hamburger. It's so soft. They use it at Shake Shack. Oh, that's a potato bun. It's not Hawaiian bread. It's not Hawaiian it's not? bread, though. No. no. It's kind of similar, though. It tastes like it. Yeah. The texture is kind of soft like that. Man, you get checked here hard. It's called potato bun. <laughs> Fact check me. Yep. <laughs> Wait, no, it's not. <laughs> yeah. Better watch out, dude. You're in the wrong hood. Oh, it's just, it's so sweet that it's really good with like salty meat. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So whenever I have like, even when I have like leftover Thai food, like my, like the beef stuff, like some beef kapow, I'll throw it in the kapow. kapow? Yeah, you know I never had kapow. What no. is that? It's like ground beef. What's well, a sound effect? On the <laughs> <laughs> on the English menu, it'll it'll be called like basil beef or something like that. Oh, I had that. Oh, bomb. Yeah, it's I've never had beef chazam though. <laughs> <laughs> You ever had that uh, that pork uh, boom? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How about beef, but I am. <laughs> but damn. <laughs> Some chicken zoom, you know? Don't be tired that a whole menu of a restaurant is just all side sound. Side effects? Yeah. Pow, pow. It's like fucking pooty tang sounds, like chicken side of tang. <laughs> side of tang. That'd be Stupid. dope. What would you call that restaurant? I don't know, Pootie's World. <laughs> I don't know. Pootie's World? Bam! <laughs> Bam, yeah. yeah. Emerald, what is he up to these days? Exclamation point. Bam! Bam! Bam. That's kind of fire. What's your guys' favorite sandwich? From? Just, just in general? Hands down, best. I you mean like kind of sandwich? Provolone. Turkey provolone? Oh shit. That's all, that's Vietnamese good. sandwich for me. Oh. I like a yeah. cold cut. Special. Philly cheese. I like cold cuts too, Italian Philly style. I like a nice dip. You know what I'm saying? Like a French dip? Yeah, but then like, like a roast beef dip? Yeah, but I went to um I went to a food truck in Arizona where they did like an Asian dip because it was like a fusion food truck and it was like a pork sandwich and then he had kind of like a um like a, a, a broth that came with it and then you dip oh, wow. the oh man, it was so fire. Yeah, it's really good. It just made me think of birria. Like if they were Birria. Mm. Birria. <laughs> It's a goat, right? <laughs> yeah. There's different okay. types, but yeah, they make it with goat. They got oh. beef ones too. My favorite sandwich place to go to. Y'all been to Earl of Sandwich though? Yes. Yeah. Earl of Sandwich is so oh, fire. Man. Why bro. is it so good? I don't know. It's something about it. It's just a sandwich, but it's so it's good. I heard it's 15% sugar. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably what it is. The bread is um, on. Yeah, oh, you know what kind of bread is really on point all the time? It's lobster roll bread. I don't even know what that is. It tastes like a big fucking it's toast. Just, it's probably just a lot of butter. Oh, oh, butter, bro. To, to, to the life. It's not sugar, it's butter. But when you pull apart grilled that cheese, bread. Grilled cheese bread. Mm -hmm. Did y'all ever um put just hot dogs in a regular piece of like white bread? Oh, yeah. 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 That's ghetto fabulous. Good old days. Oh, yeah. My grandma used to um get like a piece of Wonder Bread and then she would grill like a sausage and then wrap the so uh, sausage up in the Wonder Bread with the uh, saran wrap. Mm. So then it's like hella tight. And we just sit there, we unwrap it, and we eat it like that. That's cute. Yeah. No cheese or anything? That is cute. Nah. <laughs>
You know what I do now when I'm feeling fancy? I fucking put a little tortilla, melt some cheese on it, and then roll the hot dog up in that. Oh, next level. It's a case of hot dog. Case of hot dog. Case of wiener. Case of wiener. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like something to serve at Taco Bell. Yeah. Try a new case of wiener crunch. It does sound like <laughs> it. I saw someone do, they did a story, and then someone we know, and they had a flour tortilla, and then they put peanut butter. Wait, that's weird to you? That's not weird to you? I make peanut butter and jelly butter? tortillas all that the time. That sounds weird as fuck to me. What? Yeah. It's just bread. That's not bread. Me, yes. It's flat bread, bro. It's literally just I flat mean, bread. I could imagine a tortilla, like a flour tortilla with cinnamon, butter, and sugar. That sounds pretty good. Yeah, we used to do that. Oh, okay. With butter. Because there's still, it's still, because for us, we eat it. With savory dishes. It's yeah, not a dessert. Like sweet stuff is like, my brain can't compare. Was, it's like getting white rice and then putting peanut butter on it. You never had mango sticky rice? Yeah. Oh, son! Uh. That's a way to eat <laughs> rice like dessert. 30% sugar. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong line, but no, but okay. Look, I was about to bring that up. That's why, because I, I, I do that all the time. I'll take a, a flour tortilla, not a corn tortilla, because that's weird. But I take a flour tortilla. You're pretty close, though. Peanut butter. Yeah, might as well. And just, nah, it's different. It is. Of different. It is different. <laughs> but that's how we view it. Yeah. Crepe desserts. They're all basically what like dessert? tortillas. A crepe. I know, but it's fluff. It's but it's fluffier. Not this, it's, it's not egg. as. It's not as like. Batter. Yeah, like the flavor is different, and it's not as thick as a tortilla. Like like crepes, it's this really thin. Like you can see the light through it. But it's pancake. Warm it's up, warm up a tortilla, put some peanut butter and jelly in that shit, roll it up. Have you ever gotten a sope bottle? <laughs> <laughs> That's the same peanut shit! Butter. You might as well get sope, peanut butter. I make s'mores you with know sope bottles. <laughs> so I'm, I'm saying this shit right now, Ew. but then we make buñuelos, which is a tortilla with cinnamon and sugar. But you fry it. Mm, that is true. You see what I'm saying? I didn't know that's how it was made. But just it, they're all the same ingredients, up. just different. Yes, I just fucked up, eh? Here's what I do for texture too. I'll make the peanut butter and jelly tortilla. I'll take some fucking cereal, sprinkle it on, oh, sprinkle it inside, then roll it up, give yeah. you a little crunch. You know how to eat, dude. <laughs> you know how to eat your fucking junk food. I know how to eat my fucking junk food. <laughs> <laughs>